Welcome to this short video about best practices whenever importing or exporting data from Salesforce. You should back up your data prior to any importing, exporting, inserting, or upserting. Salesforce provides a data export service that you can set up to export your data automatically. Use the Quick Find box to search for Data Export. This service is included in the license fee for Enterprise Edition customers. Professional Edition customers can purchase this as an add-on service. You can also extract object data with the Data Loader. The Export All button will export items in your recycle bin along with the rest of your data. You should always begin your import with a small test batch. Once imported, check each of the new records in Salesforce to make sure they're correct. If successful, don't forget to exclude these new records from your batch import file so you don't create duplicates. If your import goes wrong, you can use the Mass Delete feature to remove those records. This feature allows you to delete up to 250 records at a time. Use the Quick Find box to search for Mass Delete. After choosing which object to delete, you can search for records with a specific created date. Once you've located the records you just imported, you can select and delete them. Don't forget about workflow and validation rules. Remember to turn off any workflow that you don't want to fire as a result of any newly created records. For example, you may have a workflow that sends an email to finance whenever a new account is created. You might not want this email to be sent for each of the 50 accounts you're importing, so be sure to turn it off. Validation rules are in effect during a data import. For example, if you have a validation rule that requires the state to be entered as a two-letter code, any addresses that don't follow this rule will fail on import. Are you importing any records of a sensitive or confidential nature? If so, check all of your data visibility settings before importing anything. Make sure that the proper roles, profiles, and sharing settings are in place so that users will only see the data they should see. Next, set up the correct record ownership in your import file so that your data visibility settings will be properly in place once the data is imported. To learn more about data import, watch the whole series or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.